back to my channel. So today I have a one one brand tutorial slash first impressions slash get ready with me type of video. And it's with the look that I have on today. So it's a purpley smoky eye type of look. And I just hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna see how I got this, please keep on watching. It's gonna be a one brand tutorial using all Essence products. Hey you guys, so starting off, Essence doesn't have a primer. Um, so I'm just gonna be using the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner. That's exactly what, for Invisible Pores and Lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face using this. All right, so now that we have that going on, I did pick up a couple of correctors. They have a green corrector, say no to redness, a pink one. It says say no to dark circles, which is kind of like a peachy corrector. And then I don't even know why I picked this one up because it just says, so say no to imperfections, number uh, 20 natural beige. And it kind of just looks like a concealer and then it kind of, twists up. I did also get a actual concealer. It's called a Pure Nude Concealer in 20 Pure Sand. And this was just a tad bit lighter than this one. This one is kind of more, let's see if we can see that, a little more darker, a little darker I mean. And I think I would just use that to maybe spot conceal. So that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the green concealer to cover some of this redness up, and then I'm gonna use the corrector, or the Say No to Imperfection one, right above it just to cancel out the green, you know? Yeah. All right, so now that we've got that going on, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. concealer brush and just kind of dab that in there and see if that, I'm not, hopefully kind of blends it a bit. I think I'm just gonna go with my fingers instead. So this dries pretty quickly. So what I recommend is putting it on wherever you want like section by section because I'm having a pretty hard time right now trying to blend this out. And like I said, I'm just going to use the imperfection one right above it and see if it just, how it blends out. I'm just going to do a little section first and then Blend it out with my fingers. Okay, so now that we have that going on, I do have two different foundations. Uh, I have the Soft Touch Mousse Makeup one. I ended up getting the color 7, uh, matte nude, but that was way, way too dark for my skin tone. Um, so that's... That's the color of it. I'll, I'll give it a swatch so you can see the color. And that's the color of 07 Matte Nude. Number one, which is the lightest shade, is called Matte Sand. Matte Sand is pretty much the color of my skin, which is this one right here. Um, I might mix the two, but I don't think I am. I'm just going to go in with the, the sand. I also did get the Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel Foundation, but I was looking for it online and I don't think they sell any anymore, so that's why I'm not using it today. I'm gonna use half of it. I'm gonna use a wet sponge on half of my face. I don't think it'll work very well, just because it's a moussey foundation. It has this type of consistency. We can. It's probably not the best idea to put it. It has a moussey consistency, kind of like the Dream Matte Bounce, the Dream Matte Mousse Foundation by Maybelline. That's how I feel that this one is gonna be. But I also have a brush, which is the Up and Up Buff Brush, Buffing Brush. I'll use that on the other half of the face. 
kind of dot this everywhere and then buff this in use the brush first So it looks like it blended out pretty well with a brush. I have no complaints about that. Um, it is a little bit light, but we can go ahead and fix that with some bronzer in a bit. And I used a little bit, and with that little bit, I was able to get half my face. So it looks pretty good. Let me see if the sponge is any different. So I can tell you right now, the sponge is not going to work. Uh, most of it just got soaked up in the sponge and I can see it and it just kind of patched over this. So I'm going to just go back in with the brush and just finish off the rest of my face. Alright, so now that I look like a ghost, I'm going to try and conceal these dark circles. Um, I'm not going to go above this. It's not full coverage. You can still see some of my acne as well as on this side, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm going to see if this concealer is any good. It's, like I said, the Essence Pure Nude Concealer. I'm just gonna try this underneath my eyes and it's not super stiff actually it, it's gliding on pretty easily but it doesn't look like it has any coverage or it does have coverage but not a lot it looks like it's more highlighting my my dark circles rather than concealing them I'm gonna use the Swispers mini sponge and see if I can go ahead and blend that out So it just looks like it highlighted my dark circles. It didn't actually cover them. It kind of just brought light to to my dark circles. Um, you can still see my dark circles right there. So I'm going to try and use this Say No to Dark Circles um, corrector. And I'm going to use that right here where my dark circles are. And it's really pink. It's actually not peachy at all. It helps a little bit, but like I was saying, it's there's not a lot of coverage in this. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I am going to set it because it does feel a bit tacky. And I'm just going to use the Small Taper Brush by e.l.f. And I have this powder. It's a color correcting mattifying powder. And it has purple, green, and like nude color. Hopefully, maybe this will give us a little bit of more coverage. And I'm just gonna set my under eye with that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can see right here, but the foundation's starting to crease a little bit. And right here it's grabbing onto my dry spots. Well this is these are like dry spots for some reason. And I don't tend to get dry on my forehead. I'm pretty oily. I'm not sure why that's happening. All right, so now that I put on the concealer, I'm gonna use that same concealer and I'm gonna highlight the high points of my face. Hopefully this doesn't create a mess and crease everywhere. We're just gonna have to find out, right? So now I'm gonna set my entire face using that mattifying powder and it's actually called Beautiful Finish. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in there. I'm actually really enjoying this powder. I wanna try it on maybe a different foundation. I'm not sure how this foundation's gonna 
hold up for the rest of the day because it's the first time I use it. So yeah. So now that that's all set, I'm going to go in with a bronzer. And I have two options. I have the Mosaic Compact Powder. Um, this is a bit too dark for me to use as a finishing powder. It's in Sunkissed Beauty, but I can use this as a bronzer. I also have the Essence Contour Powder Bronzer Highlighter. So it comes with a bronzer and a highlight. And they both seem pretty warm. Uh, this one seems more matte. This one seems to have glitter inside the pot. The... So I'm just going to go in with this contour powder and bronze my face. And I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. Like I said, it, it is a bit warm, but I feel with the spring coming up and the summer months, this is going to be gorgeous. This is only, I think, four bucks. Yeah, so pretty, pretty cool. I actually kind of want to try this one as well. I'm going to go in back with that e.l.f. complexion brush, and I'm just going to throw that all on the different colors, and I'm just going to go above this. I actually like that a lot. I think I prefer this, the, the bronzer from the contour powder, but they both did pretty well. I like both of these, actually. So for blush, I have two options. I have the Satin Touch Blush in the color Satin Love, and then the Satin Touch Blush as well in the color Satin Coral. And this, these are the colors. And I think I'm going to go with Set in Love. It's more of a mauve tone. And this is like a peachy corally brush. Brush. I just feel like it'll be a little bit more neutral. Because I still don't know what I want to do with my eyes. So I'm going to go in with this one. With the Real Techniques Blush Brush. I love this blush. These are exceptional blushes they're I think they're like three bucks and you can definitely not you can't go wrong with these these are great 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 blushes so for highlight I have the essence pure nude highlight um, the one that everyone has or the one that's been going around in YouTube but I actually found these other highlighters at Target and they're cream to powder blush um, Cream to powder highlights. They're the So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighters. I have it in Bright Bright Up Your Life and Look to the Bright Side. So one's a pinky highlight and then the other one's kind of like a snowy highlight. And the way these feel are, oh my god, they're awesome. So right now they're creams, and as soon as you start to like rub them in, they completely change consistency and they go into a powder. And they're great. I love these highlights. So, And I think I'm going to go with Bright Up Your Life. And what I like to do is I actually like to apply this with my finger. And I just kind of put it on the high points of my cheek. And with a clean finger, this one, I just like to kind of dab the rest of it on. This is more glowy than the pure nude one. That one's a little bit more understated. This kind of is like a pop of highlight. I'm just gonna... So on with the eyes, right? And I have two eyeshadow primers. I have the two-in-one eyeshadow primer, long-lasting, brightening, and flawless finish. And this is more like a base because primer is base, but it gives off color. And then I have just the eye heart stage eyeshadow base. And I think I'm going to go in with the two-in-one eyeshadow primer. I don't know. Maybe it'll help these colors pop. I've never used some of these shadows, so Put the eyeshadow primer on.
You know what? I'm going to use one on one side and then I'm going to use the I heart stage on the other eye. So before I start the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to do my eyebrows and I have this Make Me Brow Duo eye uh, Eyebrow Powder and it's in the color Mix It Brunette. It has a dark brown and then like a lighter brown and I'm just going to use the Essence Angled Brush. I know it's for eyeliner, but I like to use it for eyebrows. I'm going to take the darker one. And I'm just going to fill in the outer half of my eyebrow. And just to set that, I'm going to make me brow, which I'm assuming it's kind of like the give me brow. I'm just going to set this with this. So on with the eyes. So I have a couple eyeshadows. I have different finishes. Well, not finishes. They they have these three different kinds. They have the velvets, which look like this. I've already used this one. And these are really soft. Most of these are all matte or satin matte. Then they have the ones that you usually find in... Ulta. The velvets, one, the velvet ones, I ordered online on the Essence website, and then the the regular eyeshadows. These you can find in Ulta, and I have a lot of the colors from that line. And then I also ordered some of the Metal Glam eyeshadows, which they're all shimmery, and I believe they all have glitter in them. So we'll see what we can do. This one right here, the one with the the, the base seems to be a little bit sticky. I'm gonna just take an Essence eyeshadow in number 14, Chili Vanilli. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. With, this is the Wet n Wild blending brush. I'm just gonna set this eye. I'm not sure if I wanna do like a purple eyeshadow look. I think that's what I'm leaning towards. If I want to do purple, I have a taupe one. Cool tone. It's called Taupe Secret. Ha! Huh, that's funny. So I'm going to go in with Taupe Secret. And I'm going to use the same brush that we used to set our eye. So I'm going to tap that off because I'm not sure how pigmented that's going to be. And I'm just going to use that as a transition. Transition. Shit. And I'm just going to use that as a transition shade. Because I put that base down on this one, it looks a little dark, like more a little more purpley, more taupey than it does on this eye. Alright, just to deepen that up, I'm going to go in with uh, a LA Colors Professional Eyeshadow Blender brush. And I'm going to use You Better Mauve, and I'm going to just use that to deepen up the crease. Ooh, I like this! So right off the bat, because this has a base, the eyeshadow is popping up way more on this side than it is on this eye. So I have this eyeshadow, Essence eyeshadow. They're all, everything's Essence, I'm sorry. And it's in number 21, Keep Calm and Berry On. So it's like a dark plummy shade. And I'm going to use this with the e.l.f. eye crease brush. And I'm going to see if I can just deepen this crease up a little bit. So I'm definitely liking this eye a lot more than this eye. Uh, this The colors just seem a little bit muddy, kind of coming in together. Where this one, you can definitely see like the colors that I've laid down. With this Snowflake shade, 01 Snowflake, it's the Essence eyeshadow. And I'm going to put that just on the lid. Maybe it'll give it a, a thing that we need. And I'm going to use this Large Shade Brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to kind of pat this on the lid. So now that it looks like we're going out, out, 
you can see right here this one this eyeshadow just popped so much more with the eyeshadow primer than this one I might have to go in a, with a second layer so now that we did that I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and I'm gonna take the You Better Moth shade and I'm just gonna work that in the crease. So back in with that e.l.f. crease brush. I'm gonna go in with the dark plum shade again. The Keep Calm and Berry On apparently. I'm just gonna try and bring that to the outer third right here. And with this one, just gonna take the whatever shade I had on it and I'm gonna kind of wipe it off and I'm gonna blend this just kind of clean. Since we did a lot of blending, I'm just gonna go back in with that snowflake shade and I'm gonna just use that on the inner part of the eye. I'm gonna go with Chili Vanilla and I'm gonna use that uh, the ELF 201 brush and I'm gonna pack this on. I don't know how pigmented this is, so. Just on the brow bone. So for eyeliner, for eyeliner, I'm gonna tight line using the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in black. And it says it's waterproof. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna tight line. This is on automatic pencil, by the way, as well. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. pencil brush in this is a 202 brush, and I'm going to use the mauve shade, and I'm going to just run this on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to use the berry shade, same pencil, pencil brush. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Now that my eyelashes are curled, I'm going to use the iHeart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara on my top lashes. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Lash Princess uh, False Lash Effect Mascara. Just because I've used this one before and I don't like how it goes on the bottom lashes. It just kind of clumps them up. For lips, I don't know if I should go with a nude lip or with like a berry lip. So I think I'm gonna go with like a mauve shade. I've just I just swatched like six lip pencils, and I'm gonna go with what color? Set and mauve. I also have all eight of the matte 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 lip colors. So I have this purple. So I have this darker purple. And then I have this mauve shade, and I think that's the one I'm gonna go with just to follow this like mauve purple. So they also have a setting spray, and it's called Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. And it's, oh no, it's like a fire hose. I'm just gonna really from far away and try and see if this. Yeah, that's scared. Oh God, that is very, very direct. My face is so wet, can you see that? Whoa, let's give this a couple seconds to dry. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've tried any Essence products, please comment down below and let me know what you thought about some of these things. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time.